Hey Mama Llamas, I hope you are having a good morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are. I hope you're doing amazing. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Anomaly, but you can call me Allie. Uh, I make Sims 4 videos here on YouTube. I currently have two Let's Plays going on if you want to check them out. Uh, 100 Baby and a Storyline Driven Legacy, which I am super, super excited about. Uh, so today I've got a speed build for you guys and I'm pretty proud of this one, not gonna lie. I furnished it to the best of my abilities. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom family home in Brindleton Bay, and I love Brindleton Bay. It's probably one of my favorite worlds to build in. It's just so pretty and peaceful, and not to mention I love cats and dogs. So it really is just perfect for me. Uh, the house is gonna be just a little bit big at first. I do eventually size it down a bit, but fair warning, I am absolute crap at exterior design, so the backyard will not look too hot uh, but I think the interior makes up for it I put a lot of decor in this house than I usually would I did a parents room a teen girls room and then a room for a couple of boys a child and a toddler uh, I do have a few announcements for you guys so I just recently posted a video about how to reduce lag in The Sims 4 definitely go check that out if you're struggling with a low frame rate or just uh, general inconsistency with your game and one of the tips I have is literally the weirdest one like you'd never imagine it would speed up your game but it did mine uh, I'm not gonna tell you now though but you gotta watch it for yourself I'm a little tease okay um, but oh by the way my gallery will not let me upload my builds directly um, I'm not sure why. I've been having gallery issues for a while, so I'm going to see if that changes when I get my new PC. Uh, but I will have the tray files for this house down below in the description. If you don't know how to use tray files, it's super easy. Just put all the files I give you into the tray file in your Sims 4 file. Literally, that's it. It's super easy. I've been having to do it a lot because of my gallery issues. Um, I always love it when creators include tray files. It's super helpful for those of us that have have stubborn computers but right now I'm just trying to get the roof situated uh, it's probably one of the least favorite parts about building for me um, I always have trouble getting it just right the way I want it but I do eventually end up getting it um, how I like it but I'm usually a creative sim kind of girl I don't usually build that much um, <laughs> trust me I've gotten a lot better than I used to be because before I started really learning how to build uh, I was just building straight up boxes, like literal boxes, um, back in the Sims 3 days, that's literally what it was, just a box, <laughs> but I really wanted to kind of, um, hone my building skills in the Sims 4, um, because I just enjoy it, and I wanted to make more personalized custom houses for my own Sims, instead of just, like, downloading them off of the gallery, not that there's anything wrong with that, I just wanted, it's just sometimes I would want my Sims to have a certain type of home, and I couldn't find anything that really matched what I wanted. So I was like, okay, well, I'm probably going to have to learn how to build my own stuff um, since I can't find anything. But I do also really want to start making community lots as well, especially for like family and realistic gameplay, because like sometimes I want like a Christmas tree farm or like a pumpkin patch and like I can't find one I like. Um, so I might start doing that. I know a lot of other simmers really like to do that kind of stuff um, with like realistic gameplay and like families and stuff so I really want to start building some of those only thing is I I'm kind of bad at community lots like I, I don't really know how to build a community lot because um, places in real life that you go to like a quote-unquote community lot they're just big like boxes like you know like a bowling alley for example it's literally just a huge square at least where I'm from all the bowling alleys around me are just a big rectangle so it probably would not <laughs> would not look good but I think here I'm trying to figure out um, what I want to do for the outside of the house what color I want I also love building um, in the like evening time in the game like it looks a lot better the lighting looks better um, I don't know if that's just me but I'm not gonna talk too long for this video because I am getting sick again I've been getting sick a lot um, I am okay right now I don't have um, any diseases or illnesses or anything right now so I should be okay I think it's just um, a common which I need to get my flu shot soon because that's kind of important um, definitely don't want to get the flu I've never gotten the flu um, let me know if you have I don't really know what it's like 
work. Um, I think here I'm putting down the windows. I'm using a lot of different types of windows. So um, you're definitely not going to need all the packs for this house. You will need quite a few, but I do want to do a base game only house eventually. I think that would be fun. Um, I had the base game only for a long time until I actually got a job and was able to afford um, all the packs, but I was base game for probably like three or four months. So definitely, <laughs> definitely use a lot of mods during that time. Now I don't use too much um, just because it slows down my game as well, but mods are the best. Like mod creators, like EA needs to hire them. You know what I'm saying? Like these mod creators just make the best things like slice of life. Like hire Kawaii Stacy, she is amazing. Um, it just makes the game so much more fun. It brings it to life. But I am gonna hop off in just a few seconds because I do feel my voice getting kind of strained. Um, but I seriously hope you guys enjoy the build. And like I said, again, the tray files will be down below in the description for you to download. Um, if how I explained how to download tray files was kind of confusing, um, definitely go and look up on YouTube how to install tray files in The Sims 4. Um, lots of wonderful tutorials out there on YouTube. So yeah, guys, don't forget to leave a like on the video so I know that you like these types of videos and also turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Go ahead and subscribe for more Sims 4 videos. Bye y'all!